Hi everyone, I'm Rachel with Limbo's product team. Today, we'll be talking about budgets and approval workflows in our purchasing system. Limbo makes it easy to do purchasing with customizable workflows and a dynamic purchase order system. You can create several budgets with unique approval workflows based on the budget owner or necessary budget approvers. You can also set different default budgets for different types of POs. Depending on your permissions and plan with Limbo, some of your screens may be different than mine. If you have any questions, reach out to our support team. Let's get started. Each time you create a purchase order or purchase request, you need to assign a budget. This can be customized and you can add additional budgets with their own custom approvals in each stage of the PO. Let's add a new budget. Navigate to the budgets page by going to your desired location, expanding the options for purchasing and clicking budgets. From the new page, click add a budget. Give it a name. I'll call this facilities fiscal year 2024. The next step is to set up a purchasing workflow. The default workflow only contains three steps. Setup, which includes purchase requests, ready to receive, and closed. You can layer several approval steps before the PO moves to the ready to receive stage. For example, your department manager may need to approve a PO first and then send the PO to a different budget owner for approval after. Let's create an approval step and discuss some of the customization options. To create a new step, click Add Step. When the step populates, give it a name. We'll call this Manager Approval. You'll be able to customize what happens when the step starts, which actions can be taken while on this step, when to move to the next step, and the ability to skip steps. First, you'll assign a step to a user. By default, it will be assigned to the user who started the PO. You can change this by clicking the blue text under Automatically Assign PO to. In the new window, I'll select my desired user and click Select. You can send an email to the assigned user by enabling Send Email Message. To customize the email message, click the blue text and the editable template will appear in a new window. If you choose to customize the email template, you can use placeholders to insert a variable into your email, such as vendor name, PO date, or items being ordered. The user will be notified in Limble even if you decide not to enable the email notification. Then I need to decide what users can do to the PO during this step. You can allow the PO to be edited on this step by checking PO can be edited. You can allow PO items to be received while on this step by checking PO items can be received. In this example, I will allow for the PO to be edited, but not for items to be received. Once the assigned user has taken necessary action, the PO will move on to the next step, unless skip step if is enabled. You can add variables to skip the next step depending on the total cost of a PO or the cost of PO items. For example, getting approval from a budget owner may not be necessary if you're ordering several parts that cost $500, but ordering one line item that costs $500 may require review. You have several threshold options to choose from. Click the first set of blue text to choose between PO total or every PO items total. By selecting PO total, the system will evaluate the entire PO, whereas selecting every PO items total will look at each line item. The second set of blue text allows you to choose to skip a step based on if a value is less or equal to and greater or equal to. In this example, I'll skip the next step if the PO total is less or equal to $500 because I don't need to escalate the PO to the budget owner if the total of the PO is not more than $500. I'll add another step here called budget owner $500 plus to indicate that this will only go to the budget owner if the PO exceeds $500 and assign it to the budget owner. Once a PO has received all its approvals, it moves to the ready to receive stage. Ready to receive means that you are waiting for the parts to be shipped 
or the service to be performed. This is normally when the PO is sent to a vendor. If you have someone in charge of receiving shipments, you may want to assign this stage to them. I'll click on the blue text under Automatically Assign PO2 and assign this to our receiving manager. After an item is received or service has been performed, it's time to review the invoice from the vendor and start the payment process. Limble will automatically create a bill at this stage. The bill should go to the person in charge of making payments at your company. I'll assign the bills to our accounts payable manager in this example. Once you've finished setting up your workflow, you can set automatic assignments for the budget. Designating a budget as the default budget means it will be the assigned budget when a user manually starts a PO. Only one budget can be the default budget. Default budget for purchase requests will make this the default budget when a purchase request is submitted. Only one budget can be the default budget for purchase requests. And finally, default budget for minimum part quantity POs will make this budget the default when a PO is started inside of a minimum part quantity task. Minimum part quantity tasks are started when a part goes below its minimum quantity threshold. Only one budget can be the default for part quantity tasks. In this example, I'll make this my default budget. Now, this budget and workflow have been set up and we're ready to use the purchasing system. Thanks so much for watching. If you have additional questions, visit our Help Center or reach out to our support team to learn more.